how do booktubers do this? Like pick up their stacks and like be cute with them. <laughs> I'm like struggling. I guess we're gonna start this out by saying, I don't like TBRs, but I'm gonna make one. And it's more to hold myself accountable to reading the books I own. For a while I was doing this thing where I was buying books and then I was using my library and I wasn't reading the books I owned. And then they were just like sitting there for years, um, which, which is fine. You know, sometimes it's not the right time to read a book. So you, you don't read it, you keep it on your shelves, you look at it every once in a while, and then one day it just, it just feels right and then you do it. I am a proponent of that. So what I wanna do is I want to create a spring TBR, a three month long TBR of not very many books. And I want to do that by reacting to the books that I bought for winter and spring of 2020, seeing which ones I've read, seeing which ones I haven't read, and then making a list of books from that list to read. This makes sense in my head. It will make sense as we go on. I don't know how many I want to pick. I don't really know how many I have that I haven't read yet. So we're gonna go through my January through June purchases of last year. And I don't have videos because I didn't have a booktube channel, but I am a total nerd and I have spreadsheets galore. And one of my spreadsheets is me documenting, there's another word I'm looking for. I have an Excel spreadsheet of every single book I own. I, I catalog, that's the word I'm looking for. I catalog my, oh, sorry, kitty, I just did that. Gesticulated and then bopped my cat in the head. <laughs> um, so I have a catalog of all of the books I owned. I own their readership status, and then if I choose to keep them after I read them or unhaul them, or unhaul them without reading them, which I do sometimes for books where I bought them because they were popular, and then I realized I'm not like other girls. I don't like popular books. God, I hate myself sometimes. Anyway, so let's go through. We're gonna start with January. Stop being mad at me. We're gonna start with January. In January of 2020, I bought nine books. All right, the first ones that I bought, yeah, I was visiting my family pre-pandemic. I was actually very sick at the time of that, which is interesting with a uh, cold where I had a fever and a really bad dry cough. That was December to January of 2020. And I went to a half price books with them before I got sick. And I bought West by Carrie Davies, which I read pretty quickly after. I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was a really cool concept, but it was a little too short for me, but I really loved the cover of it. So I kept it and just vibe wise, there's something about it I really enjoyed. 10 minutes and 38 seconds in The Strange World by Elise Shafak. I read this last year, really enjoyed it. It's about a woman, we, we meet her when she's dying and then we go backwards in time and kind of see her life and the events of her life that led up to that. I enjoyed it and I think that this, this edition is really pretty. Idaho by Emily Rushkovich and I have not yet read this and I don't really know what it's about. Conversations with Friends uh, by Sally Rooney, which I've also read and quite enjoyed. Yeah, I, the writing style works for me. Um, people don't like that the characters are kind of unlikable, but they're like unlikable in a way that is very relatable to me. So if you've read these, you get a little bit of insight into how mean my head is. <laughs> but yeah, read this, enjoyed them, enjoyed it. Uh, okay, and then my friend had given me the book Blitzed by Norman Oler. It is a nonfiction about World War II, and I read that as an audio, and then I unhauled it and I gave it to my dad because my dad likes to learn about World Wars. So I decided to give him a book, and uh, he actually got into reading a little bit after that, so that was exciting. And then when I was back at home, I went to the bookstore and I picked up the Door. This is translated from the Hungarian. I have not yet read this. The Blue Fox by Jean, I think that's how you say his name, um, translated from the Icelandic, which I have read and did really enjoy. It's probably my favorite Jean book I've read thus far, and I've read 
three of them. Disoriental, which is translated from the French, which I have also not read yet. Donor by John Williams, which I have also not read yet. Okay, so that was the January haul. I hauled nine books last January and I have read five of them currently. So I have four unread. Moving on to February, I actually only bought two books in February and they are The New and Improved Rami Futch by Julia Elliott. I read this. It was a wild sci-fi romp. It's, it's really hard to describe. The plot is like kind of all over the place. Uh, it's super bonkers. I w It's like you follow a middle-aged man who is just like kind of like not living life well, like drinking all the time. His taxidermy uh, business isn't going too well, but uh, things happen to him when he enters a study and that is all I'll say, but it was really fun. I hauled There There by Tommy Orange. I had already read this upon purchasing it, but I really liked it. I had read it from the library and so I wanted my own copy. I hauled two books in January and I have read both of them. And then I hauled zero books last March when the pandemic started. Moving on to April, I have bought all of these books online. I believe I bought them at Better World Books if I'm not mistaken. So the first one is A Fist or a Heart. This is translated from Icelandic and I have not yet read it. Gifts for the, one who, the Ones Who Come After. It is a short story collection by Helen Marshall. I would call it weird fiction. I talked about it in my short st story recommendations. Um, I have read it. Tin Man by Sarah Winman. I had read this before I purchased it, but I wanted my own edition and I really love this hardback version and not the paperback. I just think it's really pretty, so I purchased that. And then There Are None by Agatha Christie. I read this. It was really fun. Got Shot by Amelia Gray. This is a short story collection. I have not yet read this. And Heartbreaker by Claudia Day. This is, I had read before I had bought it. I didn't really like it when I read it, but then there's just something about it that I ended up just, I kept thinking about it and I was like, maybe I enjoyed this more than I thought. I think it's really like the vibe of this book. It's very atmospheric. It takes place on a settlement owned by a cult, I believe, in, it's, it's either like far north of America or in Canada. Um, yeah, and it's weird. And part of it is narrated by the dog. So if you're into that, I'd recommend it. That was it for April. So I hauled six books, read four of them. So I have two still on my TBR. Okay, in May, I bought some of these on Better World Books. I bought a few of them from my used bookstore when it opened back up, and then one of them was a gift from my mother. So we will start with Mrs. Caliban by Rachel Ingalls. If you've seen The Shape of Water, uh, I believe that that is kind of a reimagining of this. And I preferred this, I think. And well, this, this in the movie had different vibes, but I quite enjoyed this and it's very short. I read it in like a day. I am the brother of XX. This is translated from French and I have not yet read it. It's a collection of short stories. Human Acts by Hong Kong. This is translated from the Korean. I read The Vegetarian years ago, picked this one up because I, I loved The Vegetarian and I still haven't got around to reading this. 121 Days by Michelle Auden. This is translated from the French and I did read this. It is plotless. It was very strange and it was centering around math. A Broken Mirror. This is translated from the Catalan, am I saying that right, Catalan? Uh, I have not yet read this. Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, this is the one my mom purchased for me, and I have read this, and I had read it before I, she bought it for me, but I liked it a lot. I love these copies, and so I wanted my own. Okay, Down the Rabbit Hole, this is translated from the Spanish. It has a child protagonist, but it is an adult book, uh, and it is also very strange, but I enjoyed it, but check the spoilers because there's specific language that is used that um, it made me uncomfortable when it was said, but I get why it was said. So just look into that before you pick this up. Familiar Things. This is translated from the Korean and I picked it up because the Deborah Smith, the translator of Hong Kong's works, recommended it. 
but I haven't read it yet. Pereira Maintains, this is translated from Portuguese and I have not yet read this either. Another one I read was Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. I read it and I unhauled it and I was not a huge fan of it. And I don't think I'm gonna try any more Agatha Christie, just the race stuff made me uncomfortable. Okay, that was it for May. In May I bought 10 books and I've read five of them at this point. Okay, and now we are moving on to June of 2020. So I picked up Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Schweblin and I read this. It's a collection of short stories. I would say it's my least favorite of hers. My favorite is Little Eyes, which is an unpopular opinion. American Visa, this is a short story collection that I knew nothing about, but I saw it at a used bookstore and decided to pick it up. And McGlue by Otessa Moshfeg. I read this. I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I got rid of it. Again, it had just language that felt same language as in um, down, down the rabbit hole, same word. It felt like there was some sort of purpose in it in Down the Rabbit Hole and in Miklu, it just kind of felt gross. I just wasn't nearly as big of a fan of it as I was her book, My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which I loved. So in June, I bought three books and I read two of them. So now, how do booktubers do this? Like pick up their stacks and like be cute with them. <laughs> I'm like struggling, okay. This is the stack of books that I have bought in 2020, quarters one and two, winter and fall, or winter and spring, and I have not yet read. So it is, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 books, which actually, if I bought, okay, so yeah, I bought 30 books in those six months, and I only have 12 that are unread right now, which I would say is pretty good. So I think that I wanna mood read through these. I think I'm gonna pick some out that I'm more interested in picking up in the near future. But if people have read these and have reactions to them and think I should uh, prioritize some, definitely let me know because nothing I say right now is set in stone. So let me pick five that I think I'm gonna wanna read but I'm a mood reader, so that could mean nothing. Okay, <laughs> the first one I think is easy, Human Acts. I just, I, I have no idea why I haven't read this yet because I love the vegetarian. Maybe that's why, maybe I'm fearful that I won't like this as much. So that one's definitely going on the list. I do have a few short story collections on here and I like to use short story collections to kind of break things up. I think Gut Shot I'm also gonna put on the list. It's like horror-ish, I mean, yeah, you can tell by the, sh the, the cover. Um, and yeah, I like short story collections to like break up my reading. So I think I'm gonna go for that one. I, a lot of these are in translation and it's silly, but I'm participating in the Invisible Cities project in some capacity. And so I don't wanna pick things up because I don't want them to come up in later months. It makes no sense, but that's how my brain works. So let's see, I would say, m yeah, all of these, but like, Three of them are translated. I'm gonna look at what, what they're about a little bit more. Okay, after reading the synopses of them, I think I am going to go with Familiar Things. So, on the outskirts of South Korea's glittering metropolis is a place few people know about, a vast landfill site called Flower Island, home to those driven from the city by poverty. It is here that 14-year-old Bug Eye and his mother arrived following his father's internment in a government re-education camp. Um, he starts noticing mysterious lights around the landfill, and when they, the ancient spirits that still inhabit the island's landscape reveal themselves to him, Bug Eye's luck begins to change, but can it last? Sounds interesting. I'm definitely, I'm definitely here for it. Um, and then this is a short story collection, and it says her writing is terse and telegraphic in style, so I think two short story collections are good to kind of break up the other books. And then A Fist or a Heart, which takes place in an isolated part of Iceland, which is most of Iceland. Um, <laughs> and it has a elderly protagonist 
who meets a younger girl and then they start to develop sort of a, she develops a maternal relationship with her. So that sounds interesting. And I don't read many books with um, elderly protagonists. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, I think that I'm going to try to do this each quarter. I think that picking five books for three months is something more doable for me. I can mood read within those. I don't have to really stick to it all that much. And then I can, I have like the freedom of picking other things and mood reading through other books off of this list. Uh, Cause really the goal for me is, is not to be strict with myself. It's just that I start to lose interest in books if I don't think about them for a while or if I've owned them for a while. So I do want to try to re be reading the books closer to when I purchase them. And about a year is a good time. So it looks like I, with for the first few months of 2020, I've done a pretty good job of, of reading most of those. So uh, yeah, I'm just doing this to kind of like make it more intentional, keep myself accountable, and then like kind of let you guys know what's on my TBR because I know these videos are interesting to people. I like watching people's TBR, so I definitely get it. But that's all I got for this. Let me know if from the books that I displayed that are on my potential TBR, if there are any that you think I should prioritize over others. And until next time, happy reading. Mm -hmm.